Life on board is a very isolated life. And as a contrary, there is no place in the world where you are less isolated than a church. And from this building in Limmer, which was uh, paid for by the daughter of a rich ship owner, I want to share you some thoughts about how you can deal with loneliness as a Christian. Uh, because in the church, everybody is welcome, everybody is connected. No matter if you are rich or poor, no matter if you are educated or not, and even if you're alive or not. And you can see it's a very beautiful church which this daughter of the ship owner uh, ordered to build. But also from here you can see that the dead are present. Here near my feet you can see these are uh, graves. And even up here you see that the dead are with us. Some people think, oh, it's a little scary, but the, it is important to realize it explains something about the God. Because what we, as a living human beings, what we have in common with the people who are deaf is that we live in time. However, God was already there before time started and he will keep on existing after the end of times. So what we share with the people who have already died is that we live in time. Time is something which is connecting us. So and this is also can be a help when you are on board of a ship realizing you are still present in time, like we all are, in the eyes of the gods. Uh, the most important ritual in the, in the church, uh, the bread and the wine. Of course, that is a lot, has a lot to do with feeling connected. Because sharing food is something which makes us feel connected to each other. But also when you take food, you are related to the people or to the life which uh, was there before. Because everything you eat and drink has been alive before. And even the dead people, uh, their uh, energy is present in the food of today. So when you realize this, when you are on board of ship, when you are realizing this, when you are taking your meal, you can feel very connected to the world when you are eating. The church has also a teaching about how we should relate to each other in the world. And some people think, oh, God is somebody who wants us to be equal, that uh, he wants us to have all the same chance. And, but in reality, we don't see the life like this. We see that some people are privileged. Some people have an easy life. And especially on board of a ship, you have a hard life. 
But if you read the Bible carefully, it is even written like this. God is taking where he did not plant. He is harvesting where he did not put any seeds. And that is from the story about the talents. In the Bible we can read, everybody has talents. Some have 5,000, some have 2,000, some have only 1,000. And we can read that the one with the 5,000 doubles it to 10,000, the one with the 2,000 he doubles to 4,000. But the story is about the one who is less fortunate and have only 1,000, or in other story, only one. And he was feeling jealous, and he was feeling like, oh, I could fail. And that's why he didn't do anything with his talent. But then the Lord talked to him, saying, why you are not doing something with your talent? Now you are disconnected. You cannot join the meal. And to understand this brute behavior of the Lord, it is important to realize that talents always multiply. As some people think talent is money, that, that you can lose it when you put it at risk. Or like eh, that is like a competition that there is a winner and a loser. But in the story of the Bible, talents are always multiplied. And I think we can understand this by love. Because if there is a friendship, there is no competition, no. Two people are winning. And the same in a marriage. And the same if uh, parents are connecting well to their uh, children. And if you realize what that means, there is only victory in love. There is only gaining when you are use your talent. If you think very deep about this one, you realize that there is also a victory over the death. That it is in church about eternal life. Life that lasts forever. For everybody, we are all connected in the name of Jesus. In his name, amen.